Good afternoon, sacred family of the light, from the light, from the mighty I am. So much love to all of you. It is just another glorious day in Washington, D.C. 85 degrees today, embracing that eternal flame in this month of October. And uh, just wanted to hop on and share a couple of quick little things with you all. It's quite the space this past two and a half weeks to dive in so deep into the ancestral deprogramming, cleansing. Much had surfaced and it is part of the month of October that has to be purified, that has to be cleansed, that has to be um, met, get to the core of it, because much that shows up is in separation of the soul's truth, the soul's truth of its illumination and wisdom. It's in separation of the Divine Mother, Divine Father energy. It's in separation of the eternal self at flame. So it does surface because it has to be met and it has to be embraced by the remembrance of the light so it can remove its claws and stop the program so that it doesn't keep running on the background. And there are many encounters that take place to allow it to be surfaced. So there's been quite a bit, quite a bit of programs. And it just so happened, Michael and I ran into a few of the programs that ties into each other. And, and it was that moment that like, oh, no, 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 we need to take some time to dive in into the space that's just canceled a few things. These programs does not serve our individual divine sovereign beingness. It does influence the soul being a divine presence and it must be addressed. But we need our own individual time so that our flame can then be met. So it takes a lot of responsibility, but it feels amazing. And part of it for me has been because I've been you know, working with the ascension flames, particularly with the decrees, very, very deep in that space. And also calling the soul fragments part of me back in through my self-set flame of the mighty I am presence. And once these decrees are set, there's a momentum that they built up. When they built this momentum up, they raise in an octave. When they raise in an octave, there's more light quotient in them. When there's more light quotient in them, these programs that are deeper are able to be seen. And when they're able to be seen, then they can be transmuted. And through the violet flame and its presence of the holy will, the blue flame, and the Divine Mother Flame. So it's the Divine Father Flame, Divine Mother Flame, the Pink Flame and the Blue Flame, the Will and the Love combined together in this Violet Flame. And then the Violet Flame is able to finally transmute it. And there are, there's been one particular decree that's been very important that I've been saying it and saying it as I'm creating the art that you have seen and that one goes, my soul fragments are free by blue lightning fire. My soul fragments are purified by cosmic, I am fire. And this one is repeated and repeated and repeated through the blue flame. And then there's one I do for the, uh, the pink flame. So there's a lot of this. And then there's one specifically for the violet flame. So this space is quite remarkable quite transformative. I wouldn't have it any other way in the month of today being a major portal on the 22nd, the first, then we had the 10th, 10, 10, and then, then we had the 20th, here's the 22nd. There's a lot taking place and it keeps building up this octave because we are getting ready to move towards 11, 11th major stargate and then of course into the winter solstice. So 
And this winter solstice, we're wrapping on this eight year cycle, the eight year cycle that has given us the opportunity, finally reclaiming our mighty I am Christ self. And so we've had to face so many things to get to this point. And this is much taking place. <laughs> um, it's also a huge part of the timeline shifts. Each time we're moving to another timeline shift, we are having shifts within our outer environment. The outer environment takes a different turn. So then everything else has to match that. So that goes into interactions, events, um, jobs, um, family relations, and friendships and all of that. So all of it comes up because then it gives us the opportunity to choose, to choose through our divine sovereignty if it is alignment with our heart's truth and is this alignment of heart's truth backed up by the mighty beloved I am presence because that's what's pooling in through the company of heaven, all humanity's mighty I am presence has been called in. And that really began on 12, 21, 12. So now we have this eight years, many have awoken to it. And the year 2020 has been a very significant part of this grand awakening. So others can, because it's already been activated in, in those who have been leading the ascension, that means they've been in, a, in a, the timeline, they've moved into it. Um, a bit sooner, if you want to call it that, because sooner, later than in the third dimensional construct, it is said. But what really I am saying is they've been able to move, transmute the carbon based DNA into crystalline, so they've been able to mm, lead it first, let's say and to open the wave then for others to um, remember so that they too can activate that within themselves and experience their divine sovereignty, experience their Christ consciousness. So a really, really powerful place we have been in and I'm very deeply in it kind of interesting today I had to go get a full body massage deep tissue massage by my dear secret sister Danny and I my physical template needed it though Michael is phenomenal every now and then like the outside was very important um, as this depth through the sacred flames is um, the fire is transmuting so much the physical body then wants to release this debris so i feel very good about that and it was interesting after that what not to do i went to meet my son my oldest son for lunch and i went to an area that's a typically i hadn't been there in a long time tacoma park and when i went there the energy was so ah oh, such in separation of dark you can tell whenever a community has decided to take such extreme measures in the name of safety and they are vibrating as such a fear-based consciousness when you walk into the vicinity all you feel is like density and like oh i just felt like i was like oh my gosh i just want to come home take a shower i feel so dirty here and uh, no thanks, I have no interest in going back to Tacoma Park at all. And um, we can tell like the, the frequency is not vibrating that love anymore. It used to be such a loving community. And now you can feel um, again because it's pulled in into so-called the consciousness of, oh, we take the measures for safety, but they're unaware they've bought into the program of fear and because they've been brought into the program of fear mm, the, the love has been has been like 
cut off and you can't feel it but what you definitely feel is this uh, energy so so won't be going that back there for a while for sure but still i had a good time with my son and again this sun codes have been so amazing i've been walking every day being with nature and embracing receiving the sun codes because the solar bodies like after this diamond light body is the solar body and the solar body of some are becoming activated so then they can also pull in the frequency into this plane it's quite a marvelous time it's so amazing to feel ah oh, the liberation feel the love feel the unity in the christ conscious awareness in humanity and so much coming together and yet you can also see very visibly that in which has been if so, in has surfaced that is in separation of the soul's freedom is in separation because it's all part of the human creation versus the divine virtue that is being very visibly also expressed and within that expression it is so it's it's muddy it, it's not radiating presence of radiance it's certainly missing love and um, and there's this control, fear, um, a lot of fear uh, presented. So with that also we allow it to be, because that too is part of the divine plan that is called to express itself and expand into the light as, as, eventually it will we can't push it or force it and or anything like that so this sun i'm just pulling it in so anyway what a beautiful moment i i feel so i feel so grateful for this this now the amount of light stream by the way today <laughs> about 3 30 i was like holy Divine Mother Shizu, the incoming frequencies was in of such extreme. I got so dizzy. I had to pass out with my heart palpitation. It was it was on such extreme. I was like, "Wow, Divine Mother, take it easy, blasting me with all your love. Take it easy, okay, okay. Let me just lay down, <laughs> receive." receive your love okay i'm receiving wow okay i let go of everything let me just lay down in total receptive mode I had to do that Whew. holy divine mother she when she wants to blast you with love she doesn't mess around wow <laughs> and i relate to that being a mother in this incarnation the love is just so palpable it's it's so enriched. It's so, it has such a force in it. And sometimes my, my kids are like, Mom, when I go hug them, I squeeze them like, Mom, I'm suffocating. <laughs> because it just engulfs them with whew, so much. It's just such un unconditional. There is no limit to it. Anyway. So tomorrow is Friday, Tea Time Ascension Talk. I have no idea. Maybe I'll just be on. We have rescheduled our Sacred Sunday Spiritual Service on Sunday with our dear guest, Ligia Grande, who is the creator of, of uh, Dragons of Light. They're phenomenal dragons that she creates. Um, to Sunday the 8th, of November sorry I'm walking and <laughs> talking so the telephone is shaking a little bit 
and she's rescheduled for November 8th because she too is going through ancestral cleansing, ancestral deprogramming very deeply inside of it. And it doesn't feel good to carry this. Once we're, here's the thing, once we're aware of it, we can't be unaware of it. We either have a choice to tackle it or not. When we choose not to tackle it, we feel like crap. When we choose to tackle it and we take it with the action of the mighty I am presence, we call in the divine father in the blue flame, the divine mother in the pink flame, the divine wisdom illumination through the Christ of light into ourselves. Then we tackle these programs. We experience liberation. This is not one that we go tackle with just our human self because the human self has been part of the, its creation. In order to deprogram it, that means delete it, you need the higher self and the, through the mighty I am and its action of the violet flame to transmute it. And often individuals attempt to do it just on their own, on their own from their limited human attribute and it, they can, they get knocked out and they don't do well with it and, uh, and they don't fulfill it. So the programs continue to run. I usually get into a very deep trance state and what works for me is chants. And it's a, the, the chant, I won't say it's a chant, it's more the decree. I am seeing, sensing, feeling, experiencing this specific flame that I'm pulling in and I, then I go into this repetitive hours of saying the decree and it's reclaiming and experiencing the, the fire, essential fire building. Then from there, it's some sort of art that I'm able to pull it in into this dimensional plane. And when I do that, I can feel like I, I brought it in here and I successfully transmuted it. That works very well for me. But again, you, you have to discover what works for you. Um, and I usually am cut off from individuals when I'm in this place because it is not to be with other humans and especially even with my own beloved. This is not the space. I, I need my own space because I need to pull it in into my physical template, into my emotional, into my mental, into my etheric, into my spiritual template and, and, and remove it from the human creation that is in all of this outer vehicle of expression, not just one little area. So it's a full deprogramming and that easy. It does need time. It needs your, your system needs the rest. Your systems then need the rest. And, uh, and I find it quite a bit of celebration. And, and one of the things that does also happen is somehow magically you see like yesterday, one of the things that has been very deeply that I mentioned in my talk last week that has to do with my mother, I happened to go there yesterday for three hours too, and I was able to speak from the place of my deep eternal self, the eternal flame truth, and really communicated for three hours. She was able to hear me. And that was a huge part of this being put into practice that, okay, that program is no longer running. I am able to communicate as a divine sovereign being in its freedom, in its liberation, in its radiance of its truth of the truth, Christ itself. And it just is, I don't have to prove anything or anyone, nothing just is. And, and to experience the resonance of such, such presence, quite beautiful. Look at that. Ah, it's so magical. Hopefully you're out experiencing. We have one more day of this before it gets a little bit cold. So much love to all of you. And I'm going to feel into it whether I'll be live tomorrow or not for the Friday Tea Time Ascension talk. Maybe I will be. And uh, what, what, 
truly remarkable time it is to be in the human incarnation now and be a witness and be completely detached, completely free from any anything to do with the politics in in that's a big program that's been dismantled in so many of us that recognizes our energy does not go there our energy goes to the eternal flame as we create creating the new realities and we don't even we recognize our energy is so sacred we're going to bring bring our attention to the higher visions of light and love in the new cities of light and not bother with what is playing out at all and let it play out let the dismantling happy dismantling taking place and then also letting people be where they are when they want to put their signs down or share who or what they voted for you let them be but so much love and compassion just let them be anyway infinite love and blessings to all of you may you have the most magical blissful day in all ways and aho until we speak <laughs>